Can dwarfs become tall? Does limb lengthening surgery help? Dwarfism is an ancient and distressing disease. The question is, can dwarfs be made medically taller and have a chance at a normal life? Hi, I am Dr. Milan Chaudhary. I have been performing limb lengthening surgeries at our center since the last 30 years. And in this video, I aim to give you a brief glimpse at what modern limb lengthening surgery can achieve. We are located at Akola, a famous medical city since the last 100 years with all modern amenities, but far from the hustle and bustle of metros. So what is dwarfism? All these children suffer from achondroplasia, which is the commonest type of dwarfism. Their spine height is normal, and hence, when they sit on a school bench, they look normal, but have very short limbs, which becomes apparent as soon as they stand. This is the maximum height that can be attained by an achondroplastic dwarf child. The life of dwarfs in modern times is not as in a fairy tale. In our mythology, the dwarf was revered as the Vamana avatar of Lord Vishnu, who tamed the demon king Bali. Dwarfs were also reviled as in this iconic statue of Lord Shiva as Nataraja, trampling on the dwarf demon Apasmara, the name which signifies ignorance. In popular culture too, the dwarf is the subject of movies that highlight their physical and emotional condition. Life is not easy for them. Society is not built for the convenience of dwarfs. Door handles, switches, tables, chairs, commodes, buses and trains are not created for their needs. They suffer loss of dignity, difficulties in sport, employment and marriage, and may be subject to ridicule and ostracism. This much we know. So, what causes dwarfism? What is its genetic basis? We now know that it results due to a faulty FGFR3 gene. That is the fibroblastic, fibroblastic growth factor receptor 3 gene. This leads to reduced growth of long bones of the limbs. But it does not affect the length of muscles. So we discovered more than three decades ago nature's secret escape door. Hence, if we perform limb lengthening, these children do not have the limitation of tight soft tissues and can achieve great amounts of length. Very few centers in the world offer any treatment for dwarfism. When they come to us, when they are much older, it is only possible to offer deformity correction for the bow leg deformity, as seen in this 30-year-old English professor from Punjab. So we are back to the question, can we increase their height? Well, we most certainly can. We embarked on this journey since 1990 and definitely have the maximum experience in India. This is the story of a young lady from Bangalore who came to us in Akola in 1990 and was less than 4 foot tall. She had a double level lengthening in her tibia, which gave her 14 centimeters of gain in barely 14 months. And here she is, very happy, with myself, a very young surgeon, as I looked in 1992. So what does extensive limb lengthening do? Well, not only does it make the dwarfs taller, but it also changes their lives. And we shall see more stories of transformations. This is a five-year-old from Pune whose intelligent parents saw the advantage of starting her treatment early. She had limb lengthening surgery in both her limbs and gained 11 centimeters in 10 months with intact function in her joints. To equalize proportions with her lower limbs, we lengthened her humeri as well by 9 centimeters when she was a little older. And finally, at maturity, she had a final cross lengthening in the femur and tibia to give her a total of 33 centimeters of increase in bony length. This made her 4 foot 11, which is short normal. She became a radio jockey and also found the love of her life and is now happily married with a child and leads a normal life. There is some confusion surrounding the question as to when should we start lengthening. If you start early, as this 4 year old from Kolkata did, there is a very good chance she will be a short normal when she starts school. 
This fibroid started early and could also get his thigh bones lengthened in the second stage. So, when he started primary school, he did not face ridicule and ostracism. Some pediatric orthopedic surgeons recommend waiting till the age of 12 years or more. While this may work in Western societies, which do not have too much emphasis on competitive exams, it can be a burden in a country like India. Also, by age 12, children may become obese as well as obstinate and may not be able to take full advantage of lengthening of all segments. Hence, their transformation may remain partial and they may remain recognizable as dwarfs. If parents do agree on lengthening early, which strategies can be used? This is one useful strategy of bilateral tibia lengthening followed by humeral lengthening, femur and then humeral. This eight-year-old started with her tibia, then lengthened her femora and later her arms to improve proportions and reach near normalcy. She is now an engineer and works for the state electricity board and rides a scooter to work and is perfectly normal. This young lad is now a software engineer and works in the USA and leads a normal life. This is another useful strategy. This was chosen by a doctor for his daughter who had lengthening of her legs, thighs and arms to become almost normal and is now a doctor and is well settled in life. As you can see, she has full function in her joints. Cross lengthening was chosen by this father for his 15-year-old daughter who gained 27 centimeters in length in her tibia and femur and is now a chartered accountant and looks and functions normally in society as she also had a humoral lengthening. This strategy was also chosen by the parents of this young graduate who had lengthening in his tibia and femur and is now a short normal at five feet and functions well. Our work over the last 30 years has been recognized by the Indian Orthopedic Association and our scientific poster on lengthening in achondroplasia won a gold medal at the All India Conference. We have the largest experience in India and have lengthened hundreds in the last 30 years. This method was started by Professor Elizaro who famously said, we are not merely lengthening limbs but are healing their souls. I thank you very much for your attention.